Alrighty guys, I got that motor mount in. Uh, I don't have it bolted yet, but I got this motor mount in, but I gotta put the bolt on it, so it's gonna take a little bit. I gotta pick the motor up a little bit. That All right, it's hard to see, but I got that bolt in on that motor mount. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little better. I got that bolt in on that motor mount. Now I gotta push, bend, twist, pick up, lift, move, and align these motor mounts that go to the block, um, the three bolts a piece that go onto it. That one's pretty close, so I'm just going to try to put one bolt in it for now, so I can still wiggle this one around to, to get this one to go. All right, I got one bolt in on this side. Uh, you can't see it, but I got one bolt in on the back right here. Um, I just dropped my damn wrench down there, so I got to get down there and bolt that up. Well, I got all three of them in there. I just got to get them all nice and tight. I still only have one in this one. I got to get up underneath here, fortunately, and uh, put the other two in. So, wish me luck. Shout out to the wife. She went and picked up and bought me a bunch of these damn little mats. So uh, I just got these down there. I'm getting ready to clean them off and I can get up underneath there and at least be comfortable because uh, it, it got nasty last night. You could see still from where all the rain was hitting on the outside flooding both sides right here. And uh, <clears throat> now uh, I just raked it with the bow rake and got it going. Alrighty, I finally got that guy done. Tapped. Not too shabby. But uh, I'm gonna do, get up underneath here now and do those bolts on that. I got distracted. I don't know if it's ADHD or just fucking whatever, but I'm gonna put those two on. I only got two more to go. And then after that, I'm gonna start putting the manifolds on. And I also got to get the EGR valve um, drilled out to the bigger hole uh, bolt now. I'm going to uh, drill out one of the holes for the EGR valve for not this bolt, but the same bolt. I have another one. And, um, yep, that's pretty much about it. This is all time consuming. <laughs> so, here's two of my lights I'm going to be using. Urgh, these little guys are awesome. Urgh. Gotta get it all nice and clean. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty much those are the two that I need to get to, and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and try to line this up because they're not perfectly in line. Um, it's hard to tell, and uh, and then try to get them in as good as I can. So, motor mounts on, done. I got to tighten up the bottom of the motor mounts, but the motor mounts on the motor itself are done. After I tighten them up, I'm gonna get the exhaust manifold, gaskets, and exhaust on. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Alrighty, got the exhaust manifolds on, manifold gaskets. Now I just gotta, I don't know what, man, it's getting dark and I'm getting a little chilly, so I might just call it a damn day. Um, it took me all damn day to do pretty much all this just due to getting those motor mounts to line up everywhere um it's just it's time consuming when you're by yourself you know and you don't really have all the proper equipment to get it done but other than that i mean well other than that i'm gonna probably just wrap this shit up and get cleaned up and uh i suppose uh Start playing some video games. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my damn socks. Alrighty, now I'm calling it quits. I put the whole EGR valve assembly, every damn thing on it, and bolted it up to the manifold, to the intake, and uh, nope, now I'm gonna call it quits tonight. <laughs> so y'all. Alrighty, I got these three new transmission bolts in on this side. Now I gotta do the other side. The other side's a little harder. Uh, there's some more stuff in the way, uh, but other than that. That's pretty much it. I got three more to go, and other than that, I can start just getting everything plugged back up into this guy and hooked up and all the accessories and shit. So, figure out where all the damn plugs go again. That's <laughs> pretty much what's going on. I got to, can't really get my hands in here, so I need to put this bolt in there with a magnet. <laughs> Come on, focus, baby. There we go. There we go. And now, get my trusty dusty Walmart Hyper Tough. This thing is awesome. Here we go. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Get this guy up in there. Yep, and that's how it is. All right. Yep. 
pretty much how it gets done. Now I gotta get my torque wrench and torque it. But that's pretty much how it is. And I gotta do this one right here too. But I can't get my hand up in this <laughs> to get in there. Thank God that um, these tools exist. I'm getting ready to take the transmission pan off and put a new screen in it and a new gasket because it's leaking out of the gasket pretty bad. But uh, I'm not going to really record any of this um, due to because my hands are going to be nasty with transmission flood and I don't feel like touching my phone. So bear with me, guys. All right, I got the exhaust on this side on. Just got to tighten it up. And then uh, exhaust over here on this side. Same, got to tighten it up. Just tedious process. Uh, it's just slow for me. I'm got a hernia. So. Uh, I've had one for a while. I just have uh, been working around it. So, pretty much Alrighty, taking my time. So here's her Cadillac converter that is clogged. So I'm gonna beat it out. That's what blew the head gasket. So I'm gonna beat this bitch out and hollow it out and put it back on because I don't give a fuck and fuck everybody that wants to cry about it. You know? And just like that, she is hollow, baby. Now uh, let me clean up the part where it connects on both sides and put it on so uh, let me get up underneath here that exhaust is all the way on done hooked up tightened blah 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 so here we go now i gotta put the starter in <laughs> okay. so now i'm getting ready to do the starter i gotta route the wire in where i want it um for the starter i just did the where is it at the oil tube bolted it in all that kind of stuff got it done uh, this vehicle is gonna get painted after it's you know it's up and running and it's doing good because I still got to figure out if there's any other bugs because you never know when you do this kind of stuff you run into other things too so nobody's perfect so hopefully it's good to go alrighty there it is I got the starter done put in and uh, now I just need to hook up every damn thing and all the accessories right here throttle blah 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 but um right now i'm uh, probably gonna call it quits i got things i have to go do and take care of so yeah, that's about it righty i'm now uh degreasing and gonna clean all the plates everything that's gonna be holding the power steering the air conditioning you know every all the stuff that goes on the alternator i gotta do all the clean all the brackets degrease them something that I forgot completely entirely to do <laughs> so all right I got air compressor alternator on don't really have them all hooked well I got that one hooked up I still gotta hook this one up gotta hook up all the air conditioning itself all the lines and I'm gonna call it quits for today so all right now I'm officially done I got all the air conditioning tubing plumbed everything done um, all the everything hooked up now alternator that kind of stuff I don't have obviously anything hooked up to the orifice tube yet I still got to put all that in the front but tomorrow I'm gonna be working on this side I might do it tonight I don't know depends but I got to go do some stuff take care of it and I got to clean up first you know <laughs> but other than that yep now I'm finally alrighty I'm back at it again getting ready to start putting her together as you can tell it's raining um, it's not really too bad right now but uh I'm hidden covered oh she, oh she scared the shit out of me uh but yeah that's about it man really you know oh, I love that thing <laughs> Harbor Freight special I'm gonna be putting on the power steering pump it goes right here so I gotta get all these damn lines ran and routed the wiring routed and ran before I put it on because it's in the way it's a it's large it's a, it's a big assembly piece right here I don't want to let it leak everywhere so like it is now <laughs> but yep pretty much yeah. alrighty power steering pump is on and hooked up and done now so now I need to put the cool pack on here but yeah first I'm gonna do the the fuel pedal cables I'm gonna put them on there and then do the coil pack and have all the wiring ran behind it where it's supposed to go because it wasn't like that when I got it and um, get that done and then from here on out I just gotta keep putting piece on by piece you know already got the throttle cables hooked up got the coil pack bolted down hooked up plugged in all the plugs I still obviously need to run all the plug wires which I'm gonna be doing that here in a minute I got the fuel lines ran hooked up rails all that kind of shit done um, majority now all I gotta really do is the 
the air conditioner radiator piece, the actual radiator and all the plumbing. And then I got a fan, the electric fan that goes in here and all the the fan. And then I got all the damn plastics, which is going to take forever. I got to figure out where the hell they go again. But other than that, I mean, it's might be able to get her to start up the day. Hopefully no leaks and no... Alrighty, I got the tensioner on. I got the serpentine belt ran. <coughs> um, we got severe weather coming in about an hour. And tomorrow they canceled school and everything because of the weather coming. So I'm going to get as much as I can done in that time today before I can't no more. And then uh, ho hopefully I can get it done today and be picked up tomorrow if All right. not. I got the air conditioner radiator in. Uh, this little plastic piece that goes over it, which was a, it was hell to get in, but uh, I still got to make it adjust. I got, I still got to adjust it, but I got to put this radiator and fan in first before I can start doing all that. But so far, I mean, starting to get more stuff done. Alrighty, air conditioner, radiator. The transmission lines are hooked up to the radiator. Uh, air conditioner lines are hooked up. Now I got to run the hoses for the radiator, and um, and then go from there. Alrighty, I got the fan, I got everything in, everything's plumbed, everything's hooked up. Uh, I just put this back on, I gotta put the other shield back on, on here on the top. Uh, and then just start figuring out where all these damn hoses go again, all those vacuum lines and shit. And, and then uh, spark plug wires, and after that just filling up on, topping off everything and we should be going. Alrighty guys, so I gotta do spark plug wires now. and. Uh, Still got to fill everything up with all of its fluids. Uh, the temperature's dropping pretty damn bad and the weather's coming. Birds are going crazy. Uh, other than that, I just got to do that and that's about it. I might try to see if, I might start it up depending on the, you know, how it's going to be today or not. But there we go. It's coming together. I just can't wait to paint it. I think I've said this before. Um, we're going to paint this. It's going to be black and those little stripes right here the pinstripes are going to be pink and uh that's it it looks pretty i guess i'm just hoping it's going to run pretty you know what i mean we're going to find all right i got spark plugs ran a bunch of other hoses hooked up vacuum lines i still got to hook up uh this guy right here and bolt it in the back and i forgot about it <laughs> and hook up its vacuum line so yep and then after that i just got to fill everything up. all righty guys it's full of radiator fluid transmission fluid oil a little bit of power steering flood, I need a little bit more. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much ready to start up to here. But um, I'm waiting for my wife to get home so we can crank it up and hear it. I'm worried about the lower intake um, manifold uh, due to just because I was I was in a rush trying to do it. And, you know, you know how it is. I'm worried I might have to pull the damn thing back out. And so, again, I'm worried about the lower intake manifold on the bottom. On the that's the top intake manifold the lower ones down at the bottom worried about it not being seated perfectly and the gaskets on it because i had to pull the lifters off to get the push rods out in order to get the gasket on uh gaskets so we're gonna find out soon so it's running i had to i'm just checking for any kind of leaks like fuel i don't see any down there but it had an exhaust leak i had to tighten it up and uh other than that it just needs to run and work itself brand new motor so I just really hope <clears throat> I just really hope my daughter is you know gonna be really happy about this because I am <laughs> because my kid deserves this she's a hard worker good kid she just needs a vehicle that's gonna run you know right, guys other than that I just gotta spruce it up put the hood on I got a ground wire underneath of it that ain't hooked up I forgot all about it until I got up underneath of it again and um, I'm gonna probably do that tonight too because we got a nasty storm coming but yeah Hell yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it. It sounds great. Um, I'm proud of myself because uh, I wasn't really too sure about that damn lower intake manifold uh, when I put it on. So, time. Yep. Uh, thank you guys. I really hope that uh, y'all don't mind watching this besides just bass. Uh, but uh, after I get this spruced up tomorrow, you know, we got a storm coming, but I'm still going to try to get it all done for her. I'm gonna uh, start immediately working on my Nissan because the 12th coming up to the 13th and 14th is Eastbound Get Down and I'm wanting to get the fuck down, you know what I mean? Damn, I got grease all over my... So here it is, hood's on it. I'm getting ready to start it up, take the blocks, the chalks out from the back and drive it off. 
and uh, disassemble all this shit before the storm hits. But uh, man, I'm I'm so happy that it's running good. Oh, I second guess myself so much when I'm working on stuff, <laughs> especially when I'm trying to please my kids. Man. This motor is nice and tight. Oh, I love it. I already told you guys. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, you know, you know how it is. It means a lot to me. Um, I ain't got you know much going on in the world uh, besides this base stuff that I do and my family. So I do appreciate it. Um, thank you guys.